Hi guys, I want to show you how I create this brain using reaction diffusion in TaiFlow thanks to Nyan. He posted his flow, so I start analyzing and I could reproduce close to what he did. And diffusion reaction is like this structure, right? It starts to diffusing and create these shapes. And exactly what I did for the brain. And you can create all sorts of things, like corals, for example, and the result will change according to your settings. So it's a full experimenting setup. So let's start it. Let's create a very basic hello world growing diffusion reaction. Create a box, Yotai flow, put VDB, birth VDB object to sdf pick your object hide the box and then you're going to create a modify filter modify filter and last pdb solver the first modify you leave as it is the vdb filter you're going to put curvature pdb modify the second one you will multiply Laplacian and the filter Laplacian as well. Don't forget to put the time to continuous in all those mod uh, those operators. Continuous. Continuous. Now you have the process going on and growing, diffusing. So now you can start to playing with it. For example, create a sphere, object to SDF, pick your sphere, and then not add but subtract and put continuous. So now it will grow around this sphere. That's how I create the eye socket of my brain creature. Something else you can do, for example, if you want to see only the part of it, how is it in the middle, you can apply tie slice. It was very similar to that website that I show you, it's in the description also. But what if you want to grow it with a certain shape, like a circular or a letter? Let's create here a letter very fast. Okay, now that we have the letter, you go to object. This was my sphere that I put before, but I will create just a new one. I also put to continuous. Pick the X. Instead of to put to add or subtract, I put intersect. And now let it grow. And here is the result growing in a specific shape. So, this is the very basic of growing reaction diffusion with TyFlow. That's it. Thank you very much. See you next time.